Hey guys, I thought I'd make a quick tutorial about the effects that you can get when you use charcoal and acetone spray. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram or you may have seen previously on my YouTube channel, I've actually drawn this uh, image of Severus Snape and Lily Potter before. And I've had a lot of questions, one of them the first one, how I got some of the effects around the background. Um, this is the third layer, so I've used fixative and I've built the layers up, so this is this is the third layer. This is where I'm going to start mixing the charcoal and acetone. Um, you'll need some obviously some charcoal sticks, uh, charcoal powder, you definitely need that. So you might want to use uh, tissue to blend it in. I, I like using cotton buds. And obviously you need your acetone spray. You can pick that up from Amazon, probably for around £10, depending on where you're located, be purchased and packaging. And uh, Winter Newton fixative, when it's all applied, to keep it in place. It's usually about £15. One of the things that I want to do with this piece is I want to keep the edges nice and light and clean. So what I did was I just quickly ran round the outside with an eraser. Of course it's not really necessary um, to get the effect with the acetone. Okay, next grab my uh, charcoal stick. This is a uh, willow charcoal stick, it's quite breakable. And I'll run it round the edges of the drawing and in some of the darker areas. Okay, next what I did was I, I got my charcoal powder and I dabbed it around the outsides. Um, you don't want to rub it in too much, you want to leave it kind of on top of the paper so that when the acetone drops hit, it, it spreads and creates the effect. Okay, when I felt there was enough charcoal around the border, around the edges and in the dark areas, grab my acetone spray. When you use this, there's a few different modes, for lack of a better word, that you can uh, use. You can come out like a stream or a spray. I usually use it on the spray setting, but instead of just squeezing the trigger and letting it spray out, I squeeze slowly and hold it, um, you know, a good 30 centimetres centimeters above the paper to allow it to collect and drop onto the charcoal so it will leave a little kind of drip mark like rains hit it or something
then quickly blow away any of the excess that the fixative won't hold down and I've cleaned up the edges a little bit with an eraser. Okay, when I've completed that, grab my Newton Windsor fixative and I sprayed the whole uh, drawing. What you want to do is you want to hold it around 30 centimeters away from the drawing and uh, get a get a get a good coat. You're still gonna smudge a little bit, but it will it will keep most of it in place. Okay, now that, that's what the finished effects should look like. I've still got a bit more that I want to do on this drawing. I, I want to make some more highlights and darken some of the areas. Uh, and I'll post it on my Instagram when it's complete. So follow me on there, at John Artan. I also go live on there every Thursday at 9 p.m. Uh, for a little drawing tutorial. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you can get some sort of use out of this video. And I apologize for the sound quality of my mic because it's rubbish.